YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Cities Skylines Strategy and Tactics Episode 31. So in our last episode, I left you off on a little bit of a teaser here, introducing at least the framework of the Double Tree Zone, but without explaining about how to build it, how it works, and what it looks like in its finished product. But that is our purpose today. Yes, today we'll be dedicated to fleshing this beast out, hooking it to our uh, transportation network, and praying that I look like a genius and not like a complete idiot. Um, so, <laughs> let's get started. Now, the thing that kind of inspired me for this, besides um, uh, uh, Plist's um, slight modification, is um, the idea is... Um, the original Weeping Willow Zone, which, by the way, still has its uh, uh, things. I'm not saying that the original Weeping Willow Zone is now obsolete, stop using it, start using this thing. We still need to test it, and there are still some instances when this thing, the original Weeping Willow, or plus the modification, might be a better idea. Um, it makes really, really grand use of Metro Station. Um, but plugging it into some of the rest of the thing, besides just the highway, this gives us one more option. This gives us the same metro line um, options here. If we hook these two ends to a highway, it gives us the same idea of a highway. And the piece de resistance, train station. Look at that beast. Right here in the middle, serving both sides. Did you know that uh, pedestrians who are on this side can enter the train station through this little mini building so they do not necessarily need to route all the way around now you do uh, let me uh, let me grab my little pathway here this may be close enough for them to go even though there's not the little thing here at least I hope not. I'll keep. I'll observe it once I un, once I uh, get this thing built and unpaused. Um, if not, I probably have spaced this one too one too few spaces too close. Um, but anyway, all right. So now, like I said, the the pathways here are incomplete. Um, what we want to do is on each of these, we want to go up, over, and back down. That. Up, over, and down. Trivia fact, which cartoon show main character used the phrase up, over, and down repeatedly as a sort of a catchphrase? Bonus geek points if you get it right. Okay, got all of those pathways set up. Uh, not not fully done yet. Um, now, um, as far as services go, I was testing this. And my initial design was to say, hey, what if we make this big zone where a big service right there in the middle service the whole thing? Well, honestly speaking, building two of the little ones is cheaper than big, building one of the big ones, and you still get as much coverage. Um, so the service coverage for here, what you want to do is you want to place it against that main road facing downwards and then just, yeah, place it like that. Um, so we got ourselves medical. The, uh, the only one that really saves on you is the, um, is, uh, is this one. If you, um, if you do death care, um, it can pretty much serve, serve the whole zone here. Actually, can we squeeze in a graveyard? Nah, I didn't make it. it. Truth be told, I think I made the, my little highway lits over here a little bit too narrow. Um, I was supposed to have a little bit more space here in the middle, but it's not, as long as you can fit that train station, that's the, that's the super critical one. So we're just going to start with just one, uh, morgue here and, uh, if they start screaming for more, then uh, we'll we'll uh, look into a second one. Cells are uh, fire station, and of course, 
these station. Now notice I'm building them here all along the side here um, because there's a few things I'm going to be doing here in the middle. Um, and then again, we're going to be doing the exact same thing facing the other direction. Um, and that will, that will, uh, actually that will drain us of money. So let me not populate this side yet. Let's just start with one, get that fully functioning and developing so I can get my cash back and then we'll flesh out the other one. All right. Of course, going with our things, uh, our, our good old uh, Japanese Zen gardens here in our little pre-marked places. And, of course, who can forget ourselves, uh, a metro station. Now, there's a couple of things we're going to be doing. This zone incorporates three metro stations. One in each of the uh, appropriately centered areas there, and then one right here um, at the train station. You want it basically on the same side of the street as the train station. Like so. And, oh, what the heck, we'll just, uh, we'll put the third one here, just for transportation network connectivity, continuity, sake. Um, and then just to sort of make the throughput a little bit smoother, we'll uh, go end to end here. And then we'll probably need, yeah, connect you over to here. And that should, uh, yeah, all the other networks are a little bit too far. So yeah, you guys will be, you guys will be by your lonesome for now. For now, I might, I might extend a, an, a, an extra long tube up that way, depending on how uh, metropolitan this area becomes. All right, so I think. All right, so let's um, let's see. Do we have any other any other doodads that we need to do here? I don't. Oh yes, yes, yes. Now I now I remember. Um, so what you want to do is um, this is a six lane road. People can cross it, but you want to make it easy for them to cross it. Um, so in these little nubs right here, um, we want. We want these to uh, be skyward here, essentially. Uh, because we want basically the whole zone to trickle down to this area uh, and walk here, if that is their desire. Or vice versa, trickle from the end area. Okay, so we get here. Oops. here. Now you do want to keep this road elevated fully. And then across here and back down to here. And then from here we should be able to uh, yeah there we go. And then we can plug you into the street. That way people going from here can choose to go to the metro or choose to walk uh, to and from the train station if they so desire. Um, I am still on the fence if I want to do busing for this zone. I might give busing a try, uh, but if we do buses, the bus stop's going to be right over here. Um, yeah, okay. So let's... Um, low demand for residential, medium demand for uh, industry and offices. So, you know what? Let's... Um, I think um, I mentioned uh, last episode we needed another office park, so uh, let's get us a, another office park. Let's let us make the northern tree here um, uh, an office park, uh, and then probably the southern tree down here a residential zone, and then actually the middle right here, this area, um, is um, going to be commercial. Now there is a little downside to this zone: uh, the noise pollution. Um, train stations are very noisy, and we're plopping one right in the middle of the zone. It's going to radiate and affect basically the uh, this, this, these parts of the zone by itself. I'm just going to take that take that one on the chin in terms of uh, of happiness and what have you. Um, I think I think it is worth the price of admission when you have a zone set up like this because of all the extra transportation network options you are uh, given. So. Let's uh, let's office it up like that, 
and we'll uh, high density commercial it up down here. These guys are certainly not going to whine about lack of customers. I am pretty darn sure of that. Um, oh, and of course, we can't forget to plug our, uh, our signature train station here into the rest of our rail network. Of course not. So uh, we are going to um, we are going to uh, have it uh, go skyward here, um, and it's okay uh, that it's stomping on some zones here. It, the, the commercial zone in the middle is sort of like an afterthought to like a, a sort of a nice to have uh, thing, um, and then we'll just jump across the highway so we don't slow down uh, highway crossings. Now rail networks. Um, I have an idea. I have an idea. You, you, you do, you, you, yeah, yeah, no, you, this, this thing right here, you just need to talk with Sim Nation. You don't need to go into my main mail network. So, guess what? You're gonna, you're gonna trim, trim these guys and plug yourself into here. That's all you're gonna do. you you, Mr. Cargo, is not going to be touching my, uh, my main transportation network so you don't gum up the works. Now, this thing, right here, um, as far as, yeah, we're, we're going to want to plug this into this rail line here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do here, but we're going to jump over this rail line, because, again, we don't want those two mixing. And since they're skyward anyway, let's just hook them up straight. That way, if we do any highway action, they can just go right under the tracks. Um, and as far as um, where are we going to be sending this, I don't want to send it to that station. Especially since there's offices here, and we've already got offices here. So we're going to send it to, um, well, probably just to, uh, to that area right there. Um, yeah, because plenty of people can get to that, to that train station. And we'll be supplying residents here. So yeah, we're just going to send it to there. All right, good. All right, let's get some routes going. Uh, first, our train station route. So create a new line here. And you add a stop here. And then go back here, just between those two. And then for our metro line, here's what I want to do. I want to have one line dedicated to feeding the double tree zone just by itself. So go here, stop in the middle, go here, stop in the middle again, finish the line. So there, back and there. And then we're going to get another whole line, create a new line, add a stop to an industrial zone. Oh, what the heck. We'll add a stop to uh, Hicksville. We'll stop the industrial zone again and finish that line. That should uh, do us well enough. Oh, actually, let's add a stop down here to the commercial center. Oops. All right, good. Yeah, we because that way uh, more commercial zones can be served there. Perfect. Now, as far as hooking this beast up to our vehicular network, um, I'm thinking what we want to do here. It's going to be co a little complicated uh, with uh, with this rail line poking through here, but um, I think we want to uh, I think we want to do a highway interchange here. Um, Mainly, I want to I want to grab the highway from up here rather than from here because I don't trust this intersection to not explode. Yes, I know I could do some surgery on it, and I very well may have to. But uh, I'd rather you know what? Let's just keep things simple for now. We're just going to grab the highway from up here, or even better, we could uh, we could do six of one half dozen of another. But that might overly complicate things. Yeah, we don't need this. Oops, okay, guys, we don't need that track. Since uh, since our uh, thing's not doing. All 
I mean, it would make sense to plug that highway into here. It would make a lot of sense. All right, let's 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 do it. I'm gonna probably regret this, but let's do it. We have that infrastructure anyway. Let's get rid of that Yui. You're probably going to need a. Uh... No, you don't need to be sound barrier highway. Not not next to a farm. Yeah, we'll have you uh, be sky sky level uh, highway here until you cross the railways, and then jump down, and then flip you around here. Yeah, figured that might happen. Plug you into. Alright, it's gonna be a little crooked, but I'll live. Alright, um. Yeah, and so we want, we uh, basically want to keep this going the same direction as the highway. So this, this is going, this, this top road is going up. So we want it going uh, up this way. And this one's going down. Weave it under the. Uh, actually, we could uh, we could do a we could do kind of a fancy fancy schmancy thing. All right, maybe not that fancy. Now one thing, and this is one of the reasons why I haven't published the uh, Double Tree Zone yet here, is um, I, I did notice a flaw in this before in the original one that I sort of rubber stamped on here. But you'll notice that we've plugged in this highway and now we have got traffic lights. That could be a problem. Um, that can be a problem. It doesn't have to be because if we just upgrade this one section right here to highway, this one section here to highway, now we don't have traffic lights. It's a four-way intersection to be certain, but uh, it's all flowing in the right. It's all flowing in one direction, uh, so there shouldn't be too much crossover. And then once it expands here, then you can get access to all the other zones there. So it uh, it works out in our favor, I think, um, to 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 just make that. So I'll be modifying that. Or heck, I might make the zone by itself because heck, the the highway attachment might come from the other end. So I just might leave it in the instructions to uh, shrink uh, or modify the six lane road to a highway wherever you have a four lane intersection to avoid the traffic lights. Okay, so yeah, let's um, let's uh, power water and unpause the beast. See if uh, see how this thing works. And also hope uh, we have enough office demand to uh, actually see some fireworks here. And let's get some electricity. Um, I guess I could make a little sacrifice here in the prettiness sector just to get these guys jumping over here. Well, uh, yeah, that should do it. That should power you enough. And while this zone is developing, let's uh, let's paint it. And yes, a double tray zone is going to be one big district, one big unified district.
Oriental Hills? No. Roatilla. That's better. Policies. What do we want here? Uh, power and water's fine. Smoke detectors. Nah. Uh, do want recycling. Uh, smoking ban. Let's do a smoking ban because with all the noise pollution, uh, there's probably going to be a little bit of a hit to people's health. So we want to uh, sort of uh, uh, combat that a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Parks and Rec, always a good one to do. Um, I won't put the spurs to the offices here until they start. Uh, uh, and we'll high-tech housing if we decide to go residential on the other half there. For now, this is just another office park. All right, got our first train showing up here. A few people coming out. A couple of commercial zones growing around here. The building has burned down. Well, poop. That wasn't very nice of it. Yeah, and all that industrial demand there was indeed uh, pent up uh, office space desire. So we might not get this fleshed out quite so quickly. Uh, but if we, um, yeah, what the hey? Well, actually, let, let's uh, let's kick up the speed a little bit more. Um, that way, I can build up my cash and also build up my residential demand because I think that's what they're going to be wanting. And also see if it does anything weird to my traffic patterns. Yeah, what I don't want is a big spike of cars going through here. Oh, one other thing uh, about the uh, double tree zone that I did that's different than Weeping Willow, you'll notice that the uh, bottom two branches here are actually attached to the outer walls. I found that that actually lets the surfaces uh, spread themselves out a lot more uh, effectively. And, you know, you'll notice that this, this zone is physically larger, uh, not counting the, its lower half here. It's physically larger than your base Weeping Willow, and yet it can still be serviced, or at least this half can still be serviced by a single small-sized uh, service building here. So that's, that is the reasoning for that. Um, I didn't do it at the top here, because if you try and plug it in here, then the road tries to tilt upwards into the curve. It makes all the zone patterns all messy, so I just left these two uh, clipped and just left the little road there, like in the original. What in the world is a bus doing here? Oh yeah, you guys don't... Uh, I never plugged you back in. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah, you guys really don't have a way to get somewhere. You know what? You guys are not my priority right now. I will, yeah, you guys aren't my priority right now. I will do something more productive with this little strip later. I, yeah, and I didn't give you any services anyway, so ta-ta. Not enough electricity on, oh, by the way, we are in the middle of nowhere. Alright, the offices are fleshing themselves out nicely. They want to upgrade. We're probably going to get you know, level 2 nice and easy here. Uh, especially since we have the train yard right here, and that's considered extra services. Um, and uh, offices uh, being one of the ones that like services. Um, now, one other thing, and I will, I will attempt this later on, but in, during my initial testing is uh, doing a wider middle here and having two train zones, uh, one for passengers and one for uh, cargo, and having one of the zones down here, uh, or theoretically both of them, um, being um, uh, industrial. And that is, that, that has potential, but it needs refinement, and you, 
it, it needs refinement. <laughs> so we're going to be testing that in the uh, up and coming days here. And holy crap, that U-turn. I have made somebody very unhappy. My god. Uh, you know what? Here's here's an idea. Here's an idea. We can get rid of that. We're gonna do give them a, a, a more traditional U-turn, but it's gonna be much, much further down the line here. So that you guys get yourselves sorted out. That way there's at least a little bit of a lead time here. Yeah, I know I kind of created a little chaos there by clipping that road. Oh, you people better not be. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, that's not how we do things. That's not how we do things. Sorry. You do not get to cheat like that. You do not go through my zone just to make a U-turn. That's more like it. Yeah, that way I figure you get this far enough away from this and it then people can get their lane changes out of their system in a timely manner. Alright, uh, offices are coming along nicely. Uh, abandoned building, yeah, 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 I know. I know all about the abandoned buildings. We'll keep that speed up nice and high. Uh, while we wait for more money to uh, trickle in. Yeah, this place isn't even fully uh, fully developed. I think once it gets more people here, we, uh, we will be in more business. Now, as far as busing goes, well, we're not doing any buses there. Um, well, traffic's a non-issue here, so getting a bus system up here is probably a little overkill. How are we doing on... Right. Well, we're not going to have any uh, passengers go sp spill out this way, because there's nothing really over here. Yeah, we can clip that little one. We we can't delete the whole power line itself, but we can clip these little ones just to get a little bit more growth. Just a few more commercial zones since they are in demand. And then yeah, absolutely, we'll we'll uh, finish with a. Uh, a residential zone down this way. What are we doing passenger-wise? Eh, kind of, kind of quiet. I think this, the real test will be when we add our residence here. Um, see if that uh, wakes it up or not. Brickstown's doing well. And all right, I'm, I'm, I acceptable, acceptable. Not quite as acceptable, but can I? Um, can I upgrade you to a six without causing traffic lights? Yes, yes, I can. Nope, nope, I can't. Oop. Do traffic lights do any better for us? Well, it actually lets you guys go f further. Alright, maybe, uh... Maybe a traffic light isn't the world's most evil thing. 
Because you guys are using the multiple lanes. Yeah, that actually helps helps these guys get in get onto the highway a lot more effectively without horrifically backing up the uh, this part of the road. So, all right, fine. All right, traffic lights are not universally evil. And heck, I might even experiment with not doing highways in here and just making this whole thing and dealing with the traffic lights there, depending on how the traffic shakes itself out. But we will uh, see about that in our next video. So if you like this episode and want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!